Hi, welcome to this week's Fundraising Friday. This week we're talking about writing effective grant evaluations. Too often when I read the evaluation section of a grant, it looks like an afterthought, because let's face it, oftentimes it is. How can you write an effective evaluation that will help you get your project funded and not leave you with an onerous task that you wouldn't have done anyway? First of all, and most importantly, you should be doing valuation as an organization anyway. You need to know whether or not your projects work and whether or not they are having the intended effect. If you're not, you might want to take a step back and talk to your organization's leaders about adding that kind of evaluation in. Second, when you're writing a grant evaluation, you want to think about what are we already doing and are there maybe a couple really easy things that we could add to get the kind of information that we need. Really, when you're looking at evaluation, you want to do so on two levels. You want to do quantitative evaluation, things like how many people were served, and that's an important piece. But too often I see that the evaluation stops there. You also want to look at qualitative evaluation. Did the uh, project have the intended effect? You might have fed or given food to 100 people, but if you claim that that's going to help them do better in school, did they do better in school? Did the scores go up? And you need to keep in mind that this isn't scientific research where you have to prove definite causality. You can show a correlation that the scores in the school where you were providing free breakfast went up from year one to year two, um, and you can attribute some of that to the project that you provided. So don't just stop with counting noses and the number of people you served. Think about how you've made a difference in their lives, and that will become a much stronger evaluation. That's this week's Fundraising Friday. Thanks, and have a great weekend.